In Health Watch today, are you a caregiver to someone you love? Local 5's Connie Feldman shows us some helpful tips to providing the best care. About one in five adults in the U.S. is currently providing unpaid health or supportive care to a loved one. It takes patience, time, and energy to be a caregiver, and it isn't always easy. But there are some tips that can help. An aging parent, a sick spouse, or a child with a disability. Caregivers come in different forms, and it can be both rewarding and stressful. More than 65 million Americans provide care for a family member or a friend during any given year. About 40% of caregivers leave their job to have more time to care for a loved one. And about half of all caregivers feel they have no choice about taking on the responsibilities. So what makes for a good caregiver? Well, the first step is to take care of yourself. A phrase I use often is take your oxygen first. If you don't, you're going to be less capable of helping that loved one. Make sure you get plenty of rest, eat a well-balanced diet, and don't skip your own medical appointments. Also, delegate responsibilities. For instance, if you're providing day-to-day -day care, maybe another family member can manage finances or medications. When possible, let the person being cared for participate in decision-making. Support groups are another great resource to help you connect with other caregivers and recognize when it becomes too much. You might want to consider an assisted living or other type of facility for your loved one. You can spend your time in a much more quality-filled way than when you were having to dole out the medicine and fight with them to get a shower and do those, you know, tasks. One study found 18% of caregivers whose spouse had dementia died before their spouse. Visit our website for resources to find online or in-person support groups. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Feldman, Local 5 News.